What are some other reasons why LDL may be very high? Well, typically the main reasons are gonna be number one, insulin resistance. Number two could be hypothyroidism. We know thyroid hormone is really important for the liver's ability to uptake LDL out of the bloodstream and be able to utilize the cholesterol to produce bile. So when we don't have enough thyroid hormone, we're not going to be able to produce bile as effectively. And we're not going to be able to clear out LDL from the bloodstream, which means we're going to have elevated levels of LDL. Also, thyroid hormone is actually very important for activating the LDL receptor at the cell to uptake the cholesterol from the LDL. And so without that, it's almost like insulin resistance where you end up with higher amounts of LDL, but they're not actually getting into the cell and depositing the precious cargo that they're bringing. So hypothyroidism is a big issue there. And a lot of people have hypothyroidism or subclinical uh, thyroid issues where it hasn't been fully diagnosed as a thyroid problem, but it's still elevated. You're not getting enough of the, the active T3, free T3, that actually interacts with the liver to help produce bile and interacts with the cell membrane to help upregulate uh, or to uptake the cholesterol into the cell membrane. And so it may not be flagged on the test, but that individual may be dealing with that. And their doctor instead gives them a statin drug to lower their cholesterol levels because he sees it high. And that's obviously not the way to treat that. And so that, those are two big factors. Also inflammation and oxidative stress. We talked about smoking, really any high toxin exposure. Maybe you're exposed to mold and mycotoxins. Maybe you're exposed to heavy metals. Maybe you're exposed to different occupational chemicals. Maybe you are working in lawn care and you're spraying herbicides like glyphosate. Maybe you are a hairdresser and you're spraying you know, all different types of chemicals on people's hair and breathing that in. Therefore, that's going to elevate your LDL because it's helping sequester and try to remove those toxins. So if you're exposed to toxins, that's a big factor. Maybe you have a bacterial infection. Maybe it's leaky gut and dysbiosis in your gut and you have H. pylori or you have um, Klebsiella or some sort of infection in your gut that's going to drive up your LDL particles. Maybe um, you have had trauma. So maybe you were in a car accident or you had a fall. If you've had trauma, part of the healing process is the body actually needs to increase that LDL. And so you're naturally going to see that. Maybe you have like a stealth infection that you're not really aware of. Perhaps you had a root canal in your, in your mouth, but the root canal wasn't fully sterilized and it's harboring bacteria and, and that bacteria is releasing endotoxins into the bloodstream that can drive up your LDL. So we should be asking if your LDL is elevated, we should be asking, why is it elevated? Those are all big factors that we need to look at. There's also another class, uh, classification of individuals. We call these lean mass hyper responders. These are individuals that are actually very lean. They have a low body fat percentage, low BMI, very fit. They're on a very low carb diet, ketogenic style diet. And when they do that, their body shifts into like a high primed fat burning metabolism. And part of getting more fats into the cell for energy production, the LDL will actually go up. And these individuals, you, what you'll see is very high LDL. Sometimes their LDL will be 300, right? Extremely high. Their HDL will always be high, up over 80. Okay, and then their triglycerides will be low, under 70. And these individuals look very metabolically healthy, but their LDL is super high, and their doctors oftentimes freak out about this. But this has actually been shown to be a healthy response called a lean mass hyperresponder uh, phenotype. And these individuals are very metabolically healthy. Their insulin levels are low, they have low inflammatory levels, and so they're healthy. And so for those individuals, they shouldn't worry about those high LDL particles. Um, because it's not an issue. So again, always looking at your triglycerides and your HDL, that's always really, really key. And then trying to ask yourself, why is my LDL elevated? Is it because I'm in this phenotype of lean mass hyper responder and I'm on this very low carb diet and my body's trafficking more fat for fuel? Perhaps that's the case. Otherwise, we got to think about it. What does your thyroid look like? What is your fasting insulin? Are you insulin resistant? Do you have excess visceral fat? Are you under a lot of stress? That's another thing that I didn't talk about. But if you're under a lot of stress, your cholesterol levels will go up. Have you recently had surgery? Have you had a lot of trauma? 
physical, mental, emotional trauma uh, in your life recently that would perhaps cause that, that LDL to go up? Do you have some sort of infection? Maybe you've had um, oral, like maybe you've had some sort of uh, work in your mouth, right? Uh, from root canals. Maybe you had your wisdom teeth taken out. It's harboring infection in there. Maybe you have gingivitis. Those can all increase your overall LDL levels. Maybe you've got a bacterial infection in your gut. So these are all things that you need to be considering when it comes to high LDL and not just running out and trying to lower your LDL. Running out and trying to lower your LDL is actually a problem. Blaming cholesterol for you know, basically inflammation and oxidative stress is not a good approach. It's kind of like blaming firefighters for a fire in your neighborhood because the firefighters were there trying to put it out. Obviously the firefighters, they weren't causing the fire. They were just there trying to protect the house and protect the individuals in the house and save the house. And that's really what cholesterol is doing. So what we need to do is rethink that and look at what potential root cause factors may be increasing the LDL. Is it actually a problem? And, um, you know, what can we do to help create balanced lipid levels? But in general, when I just see LDL elevated with triglycerides and HDL, you know, in good ratios, then I don't get concerned about that, um, you know, that lipid panel. But instead, I start looking at other panels uh, and trying to look at what is the overall inflammation oxidative stress load? What does the insulin levels look like? What do thyroid levels look like? What is this person's history? Have they had a history of a lot of, you know, oral health uh, issues? Have they had a history of surgeries, right? Trauma, different things like that. And could this LDL, this elevated LDL be a response to the healing process in the body? Mm -hmm.